Hello and welcome to Straight Guy K-Drama Reviews. Man, I'm so excited because I've got a good one for you this week. This week, I'm doing a review of The Uncanny Counter. So let's get started. The plot. So a high school boy is drafted to, to join a, a group of soul counters. Um, basically, they're a group of uh, super-powered beings and their task is to find these evil spirits that inhabit... Uh, people and push them to do evil things. So when they catch these evil spirits, they send them to the afterlife. And then there they get served uh, justice. Um, number two, why I like it. Man, this show is so amazingly smart. Um, the way they write, um, the way they create the world, right? The world of the, the evil and the good. Um, the, the explanation of the powers, you know, they didn't spend an episode just sitting down and explaining the powers. They found a way to, to um, slowly explain to you the powers, but still give it to you in action-packed sequences. Um, and, you know, n all of their powers, all of the problems that they encountered, they're all very well explained. And that's why I love it. That's why I think the writers are just so smart and they definitely deserve the credit for this. And also, all of our main characters, the counters, right? They're so multidimensional. Um, they all have their own personal struggles, their own heart-wrenching, heartwarming stories. And you can't help but root for these counters. And that's why I think this show is so successful. You know, We've been craving, we've been seeing all of these superhero movies, superhero stories for, for 10 years now. Um, and we've never really had that Asian superhero story until now. Uh, I think DC and Marvel should start, you know, building some really great Asian superhero stories because the uncanny counter has laid down the gauntlet. This is how you do an Asian superhero story. All right, let's talk about the cast really quickly. Uh, jo bung Gyu is the main character. He plays So Moon. Um, this is actually his first lead role, and I think he does a great job. You know, he's, he's great at emotional acting. He's great with the action sequences, but he never overacts. I think he deserves credit for that. And as for his character, I love how his character develops. You know, when he gets his powers, he doesn't immediately know how to use them, right? So... Uh, I love that journey of how he discovers his powers. Um, and, you know, there's a mystery surrounding what his power actually is. Uh, and then I love how he slowly incorporates that, trains, and finds a way to, to really help his team. Number four, Sejong plays Dohana. Again, perfect for the role as that strong, silent uh, female character, uh, female superhero, I mean. Um, and, um, you know, it seems like she's this person that's very surly and doesn't want to work with the team, right? But there's actually a, a, a great backstory behind that as well. And again, great character development. You know, you can slowly see through the episodes that she wants to open up, um, that she wants to really have her team get to know her better. Number five, uh, Yu Jun Sang, who plays Gamo Tak. He is perfectly believable as that action hero tough guy type, you know, uh, from the way he talks, the way he walks, the way he looks. I mean, he's, he's actually pretty ripped. So you, you, you do believe that he is that counter that's physically stronger than, than the most counters. Um, and my favorite part about this character is that he's not a one-dimensional tough guy, you know. He doesn't want to be you know, the only guy to do this stuff, you know, like, I'm the strongest, so I'll do this. No, he, he actually knows when to step back and let the other uh, counters do their jobs. And he's actually very nurturing. He's actually a great, um, I wouldn't say father figure, I'd say more mentor uh, to the two younger counters. Uh, number six, Yom Hyeran, who plays uh, Miss Chu. This is actually my favorite character. You know, we very rarely see middle-aged women play superheroes. Uh, and I love it when K-dramas give middle-aged actors, uh, especially middle-aged female characters, meatier roles, right? And here, even though she's, uh, she's up there in age, you know, she's a mom to an adult, right? But, you know, she mixes it up. She has her own action sequences. I love that. And I love that she's 
not just the heart of the team where you know she wants all the peace and she's nurturing but you know sometimes she loses her temper also and she's very fiery when defending her other um, counters number seven food so uh, of course these counters pretend to well not really pretend they do run a noodle shop uh, when they don't have to fight evil spirits and their main uh, product is banquet noodles so i checked the internet it's called jan chi guk su um, it looks really simple, but the way these guys make it and shoot it on the show, ah, uh, I kind of want one now, you know? Clear uh, anchovy broth, noodles, sliced vegetables, very simple, but I think it's, it's, it's very healthful and very light. So, you know, if I don't get too lazy, I'm going to try to make my version and make a video out of it. So watch out for that fun so there's actually a great two episode arc featuring the guest uh son ho jun uh he was last seen in was it love uh so here he plays a counter from a different country so again i like that that i like the expansion of the world right like oh you know of course if there's a team in korea there's got to be a team in other countries as well and it's great also you should watch out that they actually do mention the philippines uh in that two episode arc Number nine, Verdict. Well, this is definitely a must-watch, you know. Again, like I said, very smartly written, great action sequences. Um, I mean, who doesn't love a superhero story, right? Um, all right, number 10, Rating. So this is a novice watch. This is an easy, easy K-drama to get behind. You know, I think this actually replaces Crash Landing on You as the best recommendation for a first-timer. Right? So if you've got a husband, a boyfriend, a cousin, a brother who's never seen a K-drama and wants to try one, recommend The Uncanny Counter and you won't be embarrassed. Alright, that's it for me. This is my review of The Uncanny Counter. As usual, I welcome your comments down below. Uh, share your thoughts on why you loved or hated this uh, K-drama, but I probably won't understand you if you didn't like this K-drama. It's that good. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, click that notification button so you're always up to date on my new videos. In the meantime, you can watch my other videos right now.